Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. This time it's a dual blade point of view for Hard Magnus Solo. I got to play one of my buddy's accounts. Um, this is one of my first runs playing it, so it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. He's around 34K, 35K physical attack. He has around 12 mil cap around there. So it was a lot of fun um, playing, trying this out. So this is really one of my first times playing dual blade. The thing about them is they do so much damage, but what makes it hard is they don't have any self heals, right? Um, and so I'm manually PEing, um, trying not to take as much damage as possible. You'll notice they have a few iframe abilities. They have dark sight on a one minute cooldown, and then they have one of their chain skills that's a one minute cooldown. And they also have final cut, I think it's called, which is a burst skill for damage, but it's also a quick immunity skill. Um, I have that on the second page. I don't really use it too often. I just don't have room for it. And so you'll notice throughout this fight, DBs are really revolve around their burst damage. They're level 200, they're hyper skill. Um, so it's really about maximizing the uptime on those, trying not to get hit because um, I find out that if you get hit by while you're doing the, the skill, um, it knocks you back and it interrupts it. So I really try to find times to maximize it, but also Get, do them as often as possible because they're pretty short cooldowns so i try to get them in as frequently as possible to make this run quick right because at the end of the day um the longer these fights drag on um, just more opportunities to die um, so you'll see that here i'm trying to include my dark sight and my hyper skill together so i'm not so I have 100% uptime on it, not trying to dodge in and out because that is obviously the biggest skill damage that they have. And then with the level 200 skill, I can kind of dodge in and out, jump in and out because it has a bigger range. Um, so you'll see that I use Dark Sight pretty frequently. Um, I use it offensively because I have that room for error with the second iframe, that chain skill. Um, you see I'm taking pretty good damage right here. I've used a few PEs already, but nothing crazy. Um, and I chunked them down already to around 40% within a few minutes. And I'm sorry you can't see the time. I like to keep my buffs open again, like I said before, um, just so I can see the duration of iframes um, when they're up, right? So at the end, you'll see how long this fight took. But it went through pretty quickly um, for the most part. I think I died a few times, but... Overall, DBs are a lot of fun. They they really do a lot of damage really quickly. It's just about avoiding that damage so you don't have to use PEs, right? Which is always the hardest part. And making sure you have an iframe available if you die or if you're in a no-win situation um, and you have to use it last minute, especially at the end of the fight. So you'll see that I try to keep one up as frequently as possible. And then I kind of just go through the rotation of jumping in and out, using my level 200, my hyper skill when it's on cooldown, try to maximize the uptime as much as possible. And so I'm going to be honest, this fight went pretty smooth um, up until the end. I think I'm kind of just in and out. Um, the RNG of the orbs were really nice up until the end. Um, and so I'm really just here, just trying to jump in and out, avoid the orbs, wait for my level 200 skill to come up. And then when I can maximize it, uh, you see there, I use my iframe because I was kind of in a bad spot and I saw I had it available. So I used it and then I use my level 200, still died, procced Heaven's Door. And so it's getting a little hectic, as you can see, towards the end of the fight. But I still have that safeguard of the dark site in case I'm in a bad spot or in case I die, right? So then I use my Azura right here, try to get as much uptime as possible. It's also nice because it allows me to avoid that slow debuff, it immunes it. And then I'm kind of getting stuck here and it looks like I'm gonna survive it actually. So that was nice. Um, but as you can see, I don't have any iframes available, right? So. I think I die here pretty pretty soon because I don't have any defensive cooldowns available. Yep, right there. And I got pretty fortunate with the respawn right there, not getting hit by an orb. But I saw I had my iframe available, um, coming back up on cooldown, use my level 200, finish him off. 
And it was a pretty smooth run until that last death right there where I didn't have any iframe available. Used about 10 PEs, five and a half minute fight. Not bad for first time. And if you want to see another hard Magnus POV, let me know in the comments below. See you next time.